hire competent marketing directors to manage these campaigns in house. Number one reason, the math. At over $500 per bid for retail, giving the vendor half of that money to provide this service simply does not pay off. You're better off hiring your employee to do it. Number two, service. In-house employees serving your dealership versus a $45,000 a year analyst handling 72 or 84 different dealers, including competitors in your market. Which one is going to provide your dealership with better service? Three, speed to market. At a time when incentives for the month are revealed on the third day, the in-house staff can create search engine advertising focused on incentives and have them live within 30 minutes. First to market will often determine the first to capture the most market share at a given incentive point. And this is something I've personally experienced. Number four, return on investment. In-house talent will continuously seek and find sources of revenue and profit for the dealer. The vendor staff will seek and find sources of revenue and profit for guess who? The vendor, as it should be, because that's what they're employing. Number five, motivation. The person managing your daily campaigns, your digital marketing campaign activity, has their motivation built in before they ever spend the first dollar that you've allocated for that campaign. Employees of the dealership are motivated to serve the dealer. Vendor employees are motivated to serve the vendor that employs them, again, as it should be. Six, technology. Vendors use multiple dealer account management software, systems such as Marin software, which I have personally used in order to leverage and extend the productivity of employees at the vendor level, so that they can serve multiple dealers. Number seven, accountability. Accountability. The analyst serving your campaign working for a vendor is accountable to you know who? The person working for you is accountable to you. Number eight, media bias. The vendor is biased towards the media that they sell. Your employee is biased towards the media that sells more. All right, let's stop. Let's stop. All right, well, now we're going to go back to JV for a two minute rebuttal on why your digital marketing should be outsourced. You know, I love. I truly am honored to be your friend, and I, I, I mean that. I know Ralph for a long time, and he told me a story one time. He told me about this this uh, internet manager, so up and coming, learned everything. I mean, everything there was was real transcendent. Took the dealership from here, I didn't even know what it through the roof. Okay? Was able to learn search, social, was able to learn all these things. Took his dealership back there. The dealers should spend money to get this person who's more money students. This person was rather paying. He was to courtesy to the moon. Agreed? But he had to leave. And that's kind of what we're stuck with in our industry. You know, the, the best talent, the brightest talent out there, it's, it's hard to keep them down at the dealership. Sometimes you need to embrace them from a better perspective. Now, in an ideal world, you can get a Ralph, you can get a, a Larry, you, know, you can get a John Sherry, Kevin Fry. You can find these people and eliminate everything that you're doing. But there's a caveat. What if they get sick? What if, what if they move on? You know, what if they go to a competitor? All that is gone. Now, I'm not going to say that vendors are the answer to everything. Again, I cannot stress this enough. You have to control your marketing. You have to control your marketing. But by selecting the right vendors to take care of those things that, quite frankly, you know, I don't want to call it keys to cash, but that's kind of what it is. To take care of search, to watch Google, Facebook, Bing, Craigslist, Yelp. There's so many things out there. Do you really want to bring all that in house? There's somebody sitting there, and they're reading, they're, they're trying to figure it all out, they're trying to keep up with it. Oh, they also have to do this stuff. Oh, they also have to sell the cars. Oh, they actually have to make sure the website is up. They think all this stuff, why not? Control from your perspective, find the right vendors. All right, that's time. The right vendors. Well, uh, I don't even have time for a while here. Okay, we have two minutes. First of all, as far as my rebuttal goes, um, I'm going to come right out and say I could have argued either side of this particular argument. I'm thankful to Mr. Joe Webb for giving me the side of empowering somebody in your dealership to manage your own campaign.
names. As far as the individual talent goes, every month I visit a dealer somewhere and I train somebody to do what I did at Courtesy Chevrolet. Most recently I trained a dealer in Albuquerque. Their sales are up 40% this year. Their advertising cost is down for vehicle retail. Why? Because when you do it yourself, when you do it in-house, you avail yourselves of technology that the vendor is not even going to give you access to. The middleware software that we use to manage multiple accounts does not provide you with the full capabilities that somebody like Google AdWords does. So it's not just a question of talent. It's not just a question of do you want to own and manage your own brand. It is a question of having access to the very best technology and not limiting your dealership to what that vendor is serving and selling today. I don't disagree with using vendors for what they're appropriate to be used for, but this idea of outsourcing wholesale, the management of your marketing activities for your dealership, will never give you a competitive advantage. If you want a competitive advantage, you've got to take ownership, and you need to empower somebody working in your organization to call the shots and manage those campaigns and access the technology that's available at the lowest possible Let's hear it. 